Hello everyone, I just wanted to introduce these readings in uh, terms of a collective sort of introduction. I'm going to be doing mini relationship and romance readings for all 12 signs. And they are mini readings, I'm not going to be intuiting too much. Just going to let these little scat cards do the talking, if you're wondering what scat cards are. They're a deck of 32 cards. They are only chord cards and they are from the pip cards from seven up. Okay, not seven of the drink, but seven increasing up. Um, and this little deck of 32 cards is just going to give us some indications as to what's going on around the signs. And then I'm going to complete each reading with a major arcana from the Gilded Tarot. I pulled out the majors just to give it a capstone, give it like a larger over over uh, arcing message to, to the end of the reading because they are short, sweet, to the point. If I sound indifferent, that's not my intention. It's just that I'm blasting through these readings and I am letting the cards do the work rather than trying to go into the deep recesses of the intuit intuitive mind for these particular readings, okay? Let me know what you think in the comments section. Sorry for my dirty table, you guys. Uh, welcome all to this little moment in space and time in this channel. And on with your reading. Leo, what is up? Thanks for joining me for these mini relationship and romance readings with the scat cards. We're looking at four scat cards for the sign of Leo for September 2017. We're just going to take a quick look. I'm just letting the cards do the work tonight. I'm not infer intuiting too much here. We're just kind of like putting them out there and seeing how it's going to go. All right. Let's see what we got here. First up is the card of establishment, the Ten of Diamonds. So this is fulfillment and this is good harmony. This is a situation here where it's like you and your partner are being mirrors of each other. There's a lot of love and there's a lot of good energy being shared back and forth. This is for Leos that are in long-term relationships. I feel that this is going to be a harmonious time, a good month for you, a good time where it's like planning, sharing, budgeting, Things like that all come to, to the top of the surface when we see this Ten of Diamonds here. This is a, it's like you can rely, you can trust upon each other, you can depend on one another. It's like interdependence, right? So for those of you that are doing the heavy domestic thing, getting this, the kids back into a school routine, you know, making sure you're splitting up the household chores, the household duties, those things, that's going to be very harmonious for you, Okay. Because what we have here is a situation where it's like sometimes somebody does feel like maybe they're doing all the work or they're having to put out all the practical part of the relationship. And then at the end of the day, they're still the one that needs to like create the spark in the bedroom. And you're like, man, when does it ever end? It's like, you know, uh, could you just go ahead and like inspire me somehow or or give me a sign that, you know, you're still like mentally checked in or emotionally checked into this relationship. So it's kind of like you might want to just like start tickling your partner or poking them, you know, if they've got their, their head down over their Xbox 360 or their you know, slot car race machines or whatever it is that they're doing. That's the, their hobby that's taking up all their time. And you're just like, hey, ding, ding, I'm right here. Like, let's like, let's go do it. Let's go uh, upstairs, you know, that kind of thing. So that's the situation we got with that AFR. Okay, because if you do, if you get that done, the inspiration is there. It's like you guys just need to like look in each other's eyes. Get things spiced up, smack somebody in the bum and not just because they made a touchdown, but because you like to smack them in the bum, that kind of thing. And that could really inspire some, uh, you know, uh, sexual healing, good stuff going on uh, in the in that department for you guys. Okay, Leo, it's uh, but the feeling is here is you've got you've got to take action. There's got to be an action behind the inspiration. You can't just be like have the feeling like if it doesn't get done in the moment, it's not going to happen. Just like anything else in this world, right? It's like oh, I'll take the trash out in ten minutes. Oh, I'll take it out later this evening. Oh, I'll take it out tomorrow. Oh, you know what? I'll take it out on the weekend. And you know what? By that time, there's three bags of trash. So do it in the moment. Like get 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 smacking that butt. Okay. Whatever that means. I know what that means. You know, I try to keep it PG. I psych myself out. Because look here, somebody is like, there's a lot that they have to offer. Somebody has a lot to offer, uh, but they're not like offering all of it at, right, at present time. Or they're only seeing some of the bigger picture at this time. So that's why I feel feeling somebody's been distracted by like a passion, a hobby, 
a holiday or like, uh, you know, maybe something that isn't very good for them. It could be like um, Jack Daniels or too much video game or, you know, too much internet or tech or something this time. That's a reoccurring theme here is where it's like they've got to, they've got to see the fullness of what they have sort of thing. Okay. So whatever that means, Leo, some interesting energies up for you guys. I wish you all the best in September. You're the last sign I've read for in this series of readings. So again, thank you to all that have shown support in September. And thank you for um, all your comments. It really keeps me happy and keeps me going. All right. Wow. And self-love. Don't forget the self-love, you guys. All right. Whatever it is, single, married, uh, newly dating. All right. Treat yourself. Be good to yourself. All right. And have the strength and knowledge to know that nobody's going to come along, whether you give them your heart, half their heart, or, you know, all of your time and all of your resources and energy that they can't take away from you because it was yours to give and you did the so of your own free accord. Wow, my brain just went pretty deep there on a little major arcana card. Well, a major, major arcana card. But that's that's kind of what the feeling that came through for you is like, you guys know the power you possess in relationships and you're very fair and you're very passionate. So keep that going on about you. And when it comes to the other person, they'll come around. They'll be inspired. You just be you, hold strong and, you know, just make sure that they know what they've got in you. Okay, Leo, love you all. I'm going golfing.